We out here, we live. You hear me? Got the whole crew out here. Stragglers. She know nothing, huh? She she Venezuelan. <laughs> she Venezuelan. Venezuelan. <laughs> Colombiano, Colombiano, Colombiana, Venezolana. Uh, Colombiana. Claro. Ooh, what's up? It's your boy LG. Welcome back. I'm glad to see y'all once again. I'm taking a little stroll in my neighborhood, going to the store, gotta pick up a few products. Usually I get it delivered, but man, it's a beautiful day, so why not just walk? I'm only like three blocks away from the store that I like to go to. And man, good exercise, and it's good to see the scenery. I'm sure y'all could kind of see it behind me. And this neighborhood here is a pretty safe neighborhood for tourists, obviously. The beach is right here, three three blocks away. And I just love this neighborhood because of, of the convenience. It's not the cheapest neighborhood around, but the convenience. You got a lot of restaurants here. You got a lot of stores, friendly people, and things like that. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys are looking for an interesting neighborhood, a very good neighborhood, this is the one right here. You know what I'm saying? And man, I just cannot. I'm just real grateful for this weather. <laughs> I gotta put that part out there because it, it plays a big part of me being here. If the weather wasn't like this, I probably wouldn't be here. Uh, one thing I noticed about Medellin, in the nighttime, it get a little cold, it rains a lot, and the altitude, I always talk about the altitude, I'm not a fan of that, but it have its times of the year where it's hot, but I can't get around all that rain and, and the cold, that don't sit well with me, so I'm grateful for this weather here, and that breeze coming off the ocean, the best, man, on the real. Y'all been here before, so y'all y'all can relate. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Today, I think I'm gonna fry some chicken. Well, I know I'm gonna fry some chicken and maybe some french fries. I got a few house guests over right now. They chilling at the pool. So I'm gonna do the little shopping, go back to the crib and cook it while they doing their thing. Got my friend here gonna hook me up, bagging up the wings for me. Got our flour. I guess I go with this one. Uh, let me see. Let me check it out. Make sure it's good. For what we need it for? Yeah. So we gonna go with that. I think I have everything else. But well, we gonna check, check, double check. Right, we got the food headed back to the apartment now and man this this is a nice little walk you know don't take long to get there don't take long to make it back they got a lot of nice houses in this area and obviously some of these people have money because some of the houses around here they're nicely secured gated with armed security and so when you see armed security then you know <laughs> that's somebody that's rolling in though so don't ever think Colombians ain't got no money because some of them got more money than you and me put together. Believe that. All right, man. We almost there. We getting there. But man, where y'all where y'all checking this channel out from? Y'all know every now and then I like to see where y'all at. Tap in, man. Represent your city, hometown, or uh, wherever you be on this channel at right now. It's important for me to know where my audience is viewing from because I like to know that it's people around the world that's viewing my content. I'm on here. Yeah. All 
All right, we're back at the crib, dropping off the goods, and about to check on them, see what they got going on. Obviously, it's silent in here, so they must still be at the pool. You dig? And yes, they are. Let's see if we can zoom in on them. Yeah, there they go, I found them. They right there. They right there. Loving this view. Happy I made the decision on this apartment. There was another one I was looking at and what they wanted for that apartment was equivalent to what they wanted here, but the other one was, it was right on the beachfront. So the beach was across the street, but it was an old apartment. They didn't have a balcony. And I don't even remember if they had a laundry room or not. The front chain that was outdated. It looked like a retirement home, you know what I'm saying? That ain't, that ain't my vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you see right here, all of this, the paintings on the wall, or the pictures, the paintings, whatever you want to call it. Got the camera set up, the light set up. It's kind of looking like a studio. That's the look that I kind of wanted, you know what I'm saying? Something nice, but simple. And that's what we got. So, while they at the pool, I'm going to get started on cleaning the chicken and prepping everything. Let's get it. All right, man. Chicken clean already. Literally took no time, man. The chicken was very clean to begin with. They barely had any fat on it. And they didn't have a lot of that yellow stuff like we have on the chicken in the States. They didn't have a lot of feathers on it and hairs like that things like that so it literally took no time so i'm about to get this seasoned up and we gonna do this cajun style baby that's how we gonna do the chicken fried wings and today we're gonna be using tony sacheries just so y'all know it's real we got the mccormick's black pepper tony sacheries and the great value onion powder you can only get this from one country <laughs> you already know i brought this with me you know what I'm saying? So we going all the way authentic with the seasonings. So like I said, we're gonna make this Cajun fried chicken New Orleans style, you feel me? I had to bring that flavor from the United States so I can introduce them to something that's more flavorful than what they have here. They never gonna have fried chicken like this unless they come here. They never gonna have it, you know what I'm saying? Cause Y'all know we got that magic touch that we put on our food, especially being from New Orleans. Man, we know how to season some food, believe that. So I'm gonna go ahead on and get this started. Got my ex writing to me. I guess she missed me. She won't talk right now, but uh, we occupy. We muy ocupado ahora mismo. <laughs> you dig? Let's get it. <laughs> you do? <laughs> gang, gang. You do? No English. No English. <laughs> L, they say no English in English. <laughs> no English. <laughs> bueno, see. 